when you have a super heavy period and you're losing hundreds of milliliters each cycle, you need something that holds a little more than the average tampon or pad or even the average menstrual cup. So let's talk about some options. Hi and welcome to the Period Nirvana channel. My name is Kim Rosas. I'm a reusable period products expert and here at Period Nirvana, that's what we do. We talk about reusable period products and how to use them and which ones might be a good fit for you. Speaking of that, if you need help finding the right menstrual cup or disc for you, you can try the quiz I designed on periodnirvana.com. That's going to cut through the noise of all of the overwhelming options and provide you with a few different suggestions that might work for you. If you're in the U.S., make sure you check out period.shop, which is my retail store for all things reusable period products. It's a curated selection, and you know you can trust the brands because they're brands that I trust. And hey, if you're new, don't forget to subscribe to get more content like this. Now, having a heavy period can be a huge challenge, whether it just is your lot in life that you happen to have a heavy period or it is something that is caused by different medical conditions. Finding a product that is not only going to be comfortable, but that's going to fit and get you through more than just a few minutes is a challenge that a lot of people are having to go through. The average menstrual cycle is somewhere between 30 and 80 milliliters, which does amount to something like a salt regular, which holds 30 milliliters, and you would fill that either one time, two times, or up to three times for the entire period. Now, each menstrual cup can be worn for up to 12 hours, so when you have an average cycle, you can get that length of time. If you have a heavier period, you could fill something like this up in less than an hour, or if it's not quite that heavy, a few hours. Now, everyone does want a more convenient period, so today's video is gonna cover some of the higher capacity options that exist. I will preface this whole topic by saying that it is always better to pick your menstrual cup or disc based on your fit over your flow. Flow can be a deciding factor, and if it's a product that is likely going to work for you and is going to fit, that's great. <laughs> but you don't want to simply pick the product that holds the most because it may not be a good fit for you. And that is the hill I will die on. I hate when menstrual cups size by flow or capacity and sell it as a light or heavy product instead of by size because they are held in place by the muscle tone in your body. And if it's too big for you, it may not open and leak or it will be uncomfortable. And of course, on the other spectrum, if it's too small, it may slip out of place. So these are just all things to consider when you're looking at what product is gonna fit you best, give you the protection and coverage you need, and get you as close to period nirvana as possible, especially for someone who is bleeding through a tampon or a pad within an hour. One thing that I hear a lot, especially on some of my social media accounts when I get comments talking about menstrual cups or discs is that people have this unjust assumption that tampons hold more than a menstrual cup or disc and that these products are not going to work for their heavy periods. That is where I will definitely disagree. Again, we'll go back to this, which is 120 milliliters. One Marula XL, which is one of the options we'll be talking about today, holds 50 milliliters all on its own. A tampon is only going to hold somewhere between 15 to 20 milliliters, and that is even a super tampon at 20. And lastly, before we go through some of the options for menstrual cups and also menstrual discs for a heavy period that I would recommend you looking into, I do want to say that Every single person, whether you have a super heavy period or not, should be considering using backup when they start first trying a menstrual cup or disc, and especially for those of you who have a heavy period. So if you pair any of these options with something like a leak-proof pair of period underwear, that's going to give you a lot of peace of mind while you're learning things, going through the learning curve, and uh, just in case something catastrophic happens, you just want the most comfortable, leak-free peace of mind experience that you can get even when you are pouring buckets of blood out of your body. Speaking of buckets of blood, let's talk about our high capacity menstrual cups. <laughs> Is that a good segue or what? So we're gonna start with the cult favorite of heavy period cups, and this is the bucket cauldron looking device called the Marula XL. Marula is a German brand. This XL holds 50 milliliters, and believe it or not, it's really no different in diameter than even your average size two or regular menstrual cup. So this is a regular salt, and this is the Marula XL. The reason it holds so much is that it has this 
wider basin at the bottom instead of tapering down it does have a bulbous base and so that's going to give you the capacity if you're someone who is emptying your menstrual cups every few hours something with an extra 20 milliliters compared to the average 25 or 30 that is going to give you another one or three or even four hours of wear just depending on where you're at on your heavy day that can make a difference every hour you get can make your period and your life a little bit easier. Now, the downside of the Marula XL is some people find it to be uncomfortable because it's quite firm. Uh, you can trim this stem. It is a comfortable stem. It does still need you to break the seal like any menstrual cup. It's got this cool ladder stem, but you can't just tug it. Um, you do want to break the seal. Um, but yeah, it does. It's like a black hole in there. Uh, it comes in colors too. So here's one that's pink. But yeah, I've tried it myself and funny enough, I find this product more comfortable to wear than their one size, which we'll also talk about next. The worst scenario you can possibly have um, in the reusable category is if you have a low cervix and you have a heavy period because automatically your choices are cut down to 10% of what you could find if you have a, an average or a high cervix because you need something that's gonna fit lengthwise in your body. We're going back to Marula, which really seems to have cornered the market on high capacity menstrual cups. This is the Marula one size. One size does not quite mean one size fits everyone, but it can work for someone with a high cervix because it has a louder stem. But I think, again, it's a cult favorite because it works for low cervix when you trim off the stem. It will look basically like a little tennis ball and it holds 30 milliliters. And again, we'll go back to the salt that I have um, my cat just joined us because this holds 30 milliliters, but it's way longer than the Marula one size. So you do get as much capacity as this cup, but in a shorter length. Again, comfort wise, the downside of the Marula is it's quite firm. And I personally had a stronger urge to urinate wearing this cup than any cup that I've ever tried because of the bulbous shape where it sat in my body and the firmness. So while I know lots of people love this cup and you may be the perfect candidate for it, just keep that in mind as a potential issue with it. But if you don't have that issue and you have a low cervix and a heavy period, this is definitely a really great option for you. I have been harping on firmness and without going into a whole video about firmness, I will say that it does play a role in the kind of cup that's gonna work best for you. Uh, firmer cups tend to exert a pressure that might be uncomfortable. Uh, softer cups are not going to have that same pressure. Now, there is a downside to softer cups, and that is they tend to be harder to open in the body because they don't have quite as much bounce and force that is exerted. So there is definitely a give and take to firm versus soft. If you are someone who can't use a firm cut because it is uncomfortable or applies pressure, but you have a heavy period, I do have some brand suggestions for you as well. The first is pretty maximum capacity. This is now the reigning champion for the highest capacity menstrual cup and they pulled a price that's right, they added a dollar. So the highest was the Marula XL, which had 50 milliliter capacity. They came out with one that holds 50 plus one. So <laughs> for all my Price is Right fans out there who skip school to watch the show with Bob Barker, you know you got to add a one and make everybody mad. And that's what Lolly Cup did. <laughs> so the Lolly Cup is a pretty high capacity cup. It's also pretty big in the diameter and the sizing. The body is about 62 millimeters long. I always recommend going to thecupchart.com if you want exact measurements of the products I'm talking about today. That'll be really easy for you to find. Um, so you can trim it and it'll be 62. So it's definitely not a low cervix cup by any means, but it is definitely a high cervix. And we'll get a good look at this compared to the Marula. It is definitely longer than the Marula cup, um, even the body when you take off the stem. But it is softer. So firmness wise, it is going to be a softer firmness and not apply as much pressure. Because it is a larger cup, it might be something that you struggle to get open in your body. There are lots of tips to help, but if it's too big for you, it's too big for you. So again, we go back to fit over capacity. Something that is not quite as high of a capacity, but that is softer and another option for you is the Super Jenny. Um, this one is even softer than the Lolly Cup. They also offer two sizes, so they have a small and a large. 
and the large holds I think about 42 milliliters. So not quite 50 or 51, but respectable over the average 30 milliliter cups like the any cup you find on the store shelves. Uh, so because it is softer, a lot of people like this one for comfort. And so it's gonna give you, again, a little bit longer wear time, but not quite a ton. And then my last suggestion for a high capacity soft cup would be this interesting one that's gonna be hard for you to find, but I don't wanna leave it off. It's the Formunsa XL. It has um, a bouncy little round stem and it does this which is quite interesting if you're having a low cervix day. I believe you can wear it like that. So the Formunsa XL is going to, again, match the Super Jenny Large. It's a 42 milliliter capacity. I don't know how much it holds if you wanna wear it in a shorter variation, um, but there you go. Next, let's talk about a petite but higher capacity option. We've been talking about brands that tend to run into the large or even larger than large diameter amount and because fit is over flow, we want to talk about some that hold a little more but that are still smaller diameter. One of the brands that I know doesn't have a lot of recognition in the menstrual cup community but I do want to mention is Tiu Cup. This is a South Korean brand and they have two sizes, the small and the large and of course they are higher capacity because they have this bulbous round bottom. Otherwise they're very very Typical menstrual cups, I would say they're a little firm average in how they feel, so we're going back to firm option cups. The TU small holds as much and actually a little bit more than your typical average size large, so it holds 32 milliliters, and then the large holds 42 milliliters. So the large is actually on par with the Super Jenny or the Formunsa XL. Again, these are higher capacity than average cups, but not as high as Marula XL or Lolly Cup. But if you need a smaller, more petite brand that gives you longer wear, try out the Tiut Small. The last menstrual cup we'll discuss is one that satisfies high capacity needs, but is also a little more budget friendly. Um, so this is the brand called Venus Cup. And these are my cups that I've reviewed and tested because I can't find my demo cups. So that's why they're missing stems. I tore my office apart. I don't know where they went to. Um, but they do have, again, these round wider bases so that, that they're going to hold more than any of the bullet shaped cups. Not only are the Venus more budget friendly, they sell a two pack for 30 or you can buy one of each for about 20 each. They are high capacity. This one holds 29 milliliters and it's quite small. And the Venus size large, which does usually have a stem, I'll repeat because I trimmed mine, that holds 47 milliliters. So it is again, pretty high capacity, almost up to Marula XL. And it is a little bit less firm. So it's more budget friendly and less firm. Now let's talk about a few of the disc options. And I love to talk about menstrual discs as they pertain to people with heavy, heavy periods because not only do they hold more than most menstrual cups, but they have this magical ability to do something called self-emptying or auto-dumping. And while this does scare people a little bit because they imagine it's going to dump at an inopportune time, I can't say that's not gonna happen, but it's not something that is supposed to happen. Usually when something like auto-dumping happens and you're using a menstrual disc, it happens when you're seated on a toilet it is a combination of the stance where you're seated and the pushing, even urine, I don't think you notice, but you do have like a little bit of a muscle movement to urinate and that will tilt it, some blood will come out and then for some it goes back into place and for others you might need to take a finger and tuck it. But the benefit being you don't have to fully remove it to empty the contents and it gives you a longer wear time. So if you're someone who is used to changing tampons every hour or emptying your menstrual cup every three to four hours, something that holds even more that also self empties is gonna really change the game for you with a heavy period. Now, the first one is a product I'm holding. It's called the Nixit. It holds 70 milliliters, which compared to even the highest capacity cup, blows it out of the water. What we don't know as menstrual products experts is how much these really hold in the body because they kind of sit at an angle. They might squish up a little bit, but under a faucet, 70 milliliters to the rims, which is very, very generous. and. Um, again, the potential for self-emptying is there for every single product. Uh, this one's a wider one. It's 70 millimeters around and holds 70 milliliters. Another disc option is a little bit firmer than Nixit, 
holds 60 milliliters to the rim. Again, we've discussed, you know, it might squish up a little bit, but to the rim, 60. This one has a removal string, which if you don't like because it's at the external part of the rim, I know I'm not a fan, some people aren't, you can always trim that down to be level with the rim, or you can use it to remove it. And then another option is one that I'm super excited about. That's the Hello Disc. I helped design this with Hello Cup. It holds 50 to the rim, and it does have this new removal system with a tucking tab, so you can wear it if you have a low cervix or a high cervix. Um, so it does work for more people than most discs because it addresses every single cervix height um, and is a little easier to reach when you have a high cervix because you'll wear it drop down in your vaginal canal and so it won't be hard to fish for and reach for. These are a lot of options. Just consider your cervix height when you're looking at all of these high capacity options for cups. You want one that's going to fit into your vaginal canal and not hang out, not feel too long, not be uncomfortable. So if you have a low cervix, you're looking at a marula one size option or you're looking at a menstrual disc for the capacity needs that you're looking for. If you don't have a low cervix, you have a lot more options and you might just wanna consider the diameter. Is this gonna be a good fit for you? Does it feel good? And of course the firmness, and we've discussed that a lot of the higher capacity options are firm, but there are a few softer like the Super Jenny, the Formosa XL, and the Venus. So we've got a lot of options that are out there. I don't carry all of these products at period.shop and the Hello Disc isn't actually out to retail. That's a prototype. Uh, that will be out in early 2022 and we will have it on period.shop, but definitely consider shopping with this small business if you're looking for some of these products and I have them. Uh, as I like to tell everyone, a small business owner does do a little happy dance every time we make a sale and your support of period.shop helps me create more educational content. That's everything, thanks for watching. Make sure, if you haven't already, to subscribe to this channel and you can find me on social media at Period Nirvana where I share all of these shorter educational clips or you can join the troubleshooting group on Facebook which is called Period Nirvana Community. We'll see you in the next video. Period Nirvana channel where I talk specifically, actually, exact measure. I wanna say it holds 42. 42. God damn it, I'm so good. <laughs> Pushing either urine or fecal matter out. I don't like that term.